Okay guys, welcome back. So today, we're going to do something that I haven't really done on the channel before. We're going to be doing, we're going to be covering a few little easy coin vanishes and productions and all that different stuff. <coughs> okay. So this is, it's a quarter dollar. Obviously I'm not American. Uh, but this is just a coin that I had lying around. Roughly the same size as an English 10p. The size of the coin doesn't really matter. There's of course the big ones. Which guys don't try any of this. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with something easy which is the French drop. Now what the French drop is, is you grab the coin like so and your hand comes over under the pretense of grabbing it and what happens is you literally drop the coin from there into your hand while this one comes over and pretends to take it well that can go into relaxed into finger clip which is there like that and can be perfectly relaxed. Now don't worry about what this looks like grabbing the coin because you'll notice do it for real. So go and pick the coin up. You'll find that that's what you do 90% of the time. Take the coin. Unless you're doing that you'll find that you'll come over and grab it like that. So once more You come over and pretend to grab it. I'll move my hand out of the way. And all you do is legitimately drop it into your hand. Don't do that. It's a bit difficult to do with the camera in its position. So drop it from there into your hand. Like so. Okay? From there, once you've come over and grabbed it, you all you do is simply turn your hand over and bend your fingers that is called a clip okay because you're clipping it between the fat of your hand and the fat of your finger and that's executed simply by timing as you turn your hand over so from that position move your fingers at the same time as turning your hand over like so rest your hand on the table well, you have that one there. You can then vanish that in whichever way you like. Now, you might be worried about this hand being dirty. Don't worry about it too much. <coughs> because there are ways of transferring the coin from one hand to another in the act of just showing your hands empty. Okay? And then you can uh, have the coin reappear in whichever way you like, all right? So once more with the French drop. <coughs> Between your thumb and two fingers, you want to make sure that the drop is straight down so that it hits this part of your hand or this part of your hand. So what you're doing is just dropping it like so, as that hand comes over and tries to grab it. From there, turn your hand over and clip it. And if you have a card on the table, you can pick the card up and load the coin onto the card. So if that's face up, okay, you pick the card up, load the coin underneath, they wouldn't obviously see you doing this, and then under the pretense of that, into the coin. So let's do that again. So you're in clip, that's face up on the table, you pick the card up, 
nothing unusual about that. Slide it over the coin. Nothing unusual at all. And then all you do is put it back on the table by doing that. Okay. And all I've done there without the card is when the card's there and you pick it up, you've already done that action, so there's nothing suspicious about that action. Pick up the card between your first finger and thumb. As you turn your hand over, you slide the card back over the coin, which is in that position. And now when you come to turn the card and place it downwards onto the table, all you're doing is moving the, uh, moving the coin rather from that position to that position on your fingers as you turn your hand over with the card covering it like that. You then place it down and you can show your hands or you don't need to make a big thing about showing your hands empty. But you can show your hand empty. And have it appear under the card in whichever way you choose. That's something easy with the French drop. Take it away, practice it. See somebody else's ideas about the French drop. Come back and let me know. I'd love to see your progress. And I'll see you next time.